what's going on guys welcome to Hugo Tech 007 in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to remotely control any PC with a simple tool called Coatic um, it is a com command and control it is a Windows post exploitation root kit that is similar to other penetration testing tools such as the metaprita in console in MSF console and PowerShell Empire now the major difference between uh, the metaprita or the PowerShell and Coatic is it does most of its operation using the Windows script host. That is JS script and VB script, and then it's compatible with Windows 2000 down to Windows 10. All right, it is possible to serve payload completely in memory without touching disk, and as well as use secure communication over SSL and TLS. All right, so here you have to install this. Uh, you have to install some dependencies, Python 3. And then to install this, you just have to do sudo app install coatic. Okay, so a successful hack involves five stages. Um, it's gonna be re reconnaissance, scanning, getting access, maintaining access and persistence and exfiltration. Um, coatic is a tool that can be used in any of these last two stages. Okay, so here you can see some modules so if you type in here use enter you're going to have um, so many modules here uh, the default one being the um, st that's the stager js ms hta all right so uh, that's the html application so you have various modules here and to use any module you just have to type use and then the name of the module then hit enter and you can see here is already the default one so let's change this up so we have to type use and then we'll go for the reg serve enter you can see it here changing okay so um, this is basically how you change up the module so let's change this one to use rundle 32 let's call js you can see it here also all right so we are going to revert back to the mshta by typing use mshta hit enter so that brings us back to that particular module. So we want to learn more about this particular module. So we're going to type in here info and then hit enter. So this gives us the settings which we are going to make use of. Uh, so we'll come in here, type in if config, and then this gives us our IP address, which is 192.168.135.130. And it's already set, everything is good. We are comfortable, we're good. So we just type in here run. So we type in here the command run and hit enter. Now this gives us a link. So we just copy this one down here. This is the link that we're going to be mailing to the victim. So over to the victim's system. So this is the victim's machine. So the attacker is going to come in here, press the window key and R. So, and then hit OK. So this uh, pops up this command prompt and then probably execute the command here. But if the attacker is not close by, this is what he's going to do. He's going to prepare a fish. So he's going to come in back to his box. So this is the attacker's machine. And then he's going to create a file, a batch file. All right. So this is nano. And then let's call it cheats.bat. All right. Uh, you could pretty much call it anything. And then type here at echo off. All right. And then I'm going to paste in that link over here. Okay, so let's just um, put a command here so that we'll be able to see what we've done. Pause. Okay, so let's save this. So we want to save the file, Control X, Y, hit Y, and then enter. So we've saved the particular file. So what we'll be doing is to um, um, host, create a web server, and then host this particular file, and then mail it to the victim. So this is probably what the attacker is going to do. Um, the second thing he or she is going to do, the attacker, is to zip the file and give it a password and provide a password to the victim and then send it to the victim. Okay, so here I'm quickly going to um, sudo copy this file, uh, which is going to be um, that file is located in the root directory and then that's going to be cheat.bat. And then we're sending it to our um, the web server, which is var www.html.cheese.bat. OK, 
okay so and then let's start up our web server so this is going to be system ctl start apache 2 service okay so we started our web server okay all right so we'll go back to the victims machine so this is the victims machine right now and then here I will probably mail it to the victim as a link. So when the victim clicks the link, so but I'm here, I'm going to type it out. So this is going to be 192, 168, 135, 130. And then I'll put a slash here. And this is going to be cheats.bat, B-A-T, the batch file. So we'll click on enter. And this is going to download this file to the victim's machine. So click on here and then open the folder show folder so let's drag this to the desktop so this is the file here all right so you just cut this x this out let's minimize this let's paste it in here okay so when we double click on this uh, we're going to get a session in the attackers machine so we'll click on run come in here you can see here zombie zero okay so we're having a session here and we're having the name of the machine the victim's machine as a windows 10 home okay and then um here we can pretty much do anything we want okay so we can type in here zombies so here we have an id of zero so this is the first section we're having and the status here is alive and then here we can pretty much do what we want but um there is limitation here in this particular session we just have to elevate out of this and then bypass uac so we're going to use implant uh, fish a password box so this is going to display a password box where it's going to prompt the user to enter his or her password okay so um, here i'm just going to hit enter and then type in here info so what i'm going to do is to set zombie to the id number which is zero so set zombie zombie zero and then hit enter and i'm going to type here info i'm good so that's i'm going to type the command run and enter so this is going to display this box so this box is going to display automatically in the victim's machine. So the victim enters his or her password. As you can see, I've been able to obtain the password entered by the victim. All right. So there's another thing I can do here is to use implant elevate bypass UAC. So um, what this particular module is going to help us to do is to make us become an ad administrator okay to elevate out of this so with um, this particular um, context we won't be able to do things much but um, if we're able to bypass uac it means that we are an admin and we can do things all right so here we're going to set payload to zero hit enter and then we're going to set check all info so type info hit enter and the next thing we're going to do here is to run as you can see here we have another section a session here which is zombie one zombie one okay so let's just type in here zombie one zombies so if you type in here zombies you're going to have uh, different ID so you have the star the star next to that one it shows that this is this session is in an elevated context so we can pretty much do much with this like dump hashes like run programs like run different applications like um, pretty much anything you can do here like log on keystrokes anything install persistence and all that so let's type in here uh quickly uh, cmd shell you can type in here cmd shell zero so if we hit on enter uh, you won't be able to get a command prompt if you use the id zero okay so you can see i can't do anything here you see permission is denied 
So that's because the zero ID is having a lower, um, it's not an administrator. So, but when we change this to CMD, um, let's say, let's exit out of this, because this is not okay. All right, so if we come in here and then we're gonna type here, um, set zombie, let's say set zombie one, so we are an administrator. We are setting it to the second session that has a star in it. All right. So here we are going to type in that command, which is command shell and then one. Hit enter. Oops, this is popping up. So when we hit enter here, uh, we can do much with the command prompt. So you can see here we have a shell. So we can see the, we can go back to the C drive. Look at this windows, let's go back. All right, so you can see that we are running the command prompt remotely here. So we're going to go into the users, uh, Maverick, and probably let's go into the users desktop. Okay, so let's see the desktop. So let's GIRL, let's check this out so we can see the desktop. So let's CD to desktop. Okay, so you can see we are in the user's desktop. So DIR, let's check the context. We can download anything remotely from the user's machine. So let's download this um, debug view. So let's assume that we have a software that we, uh, we're looking for. So we're going to press here, download debugview.exe give, give the complete file name so he, when you hit enter you can see it's complete it's completed so we've been able to download that particular file so we we'll come in here uh, click on temp scroll down you can see it here debugview.exe so you could pretty much do anything you want here you can change the password you can log on keystrokes dump hashes wrong mimicats over in this context so this is a pretty much privileged context so let's us um gathered hashes so we're going to use implant gather hash dump all right then hit enter let's check info all right so we're going to set the zombie here to be one so set get system hive so set get sys hive to be true. Let's set that to be true. And then let's set the zombie to be one. Then let's type info. I think we're good. So let's run this command. So as you can see, we've been able to gather some hashes here. Okay, so you could see the hash. You can see it here. I think it's done. So you can see the hash over here. So with the hash, um, with this hash, you can pretty much pass the hash and then gain access to the systems machine. Install persistence. Okay, so the next thing we want to do here is to use implant and then persist. We want a situation whereby if this user should log out of the system or probably restart the system, we'll still gain access to the system. That's what we want to do right now. Okay, so here we're going to set payload to be zero, hit enter. And then here we're going to set a zombie to be one. That's the elevated context. You can't do this in a medium context. You have to do it in a higher integrity context. So we'll hit on run. So this is going to install persistence in the victim's machine. So it's installing and it's completed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the victim's machine. Remember all this we're doing is in the background, the user and all the victim is not seeing anything, right? The victim doesn't know what we are doing. So if we come in here, let's as let's take the action of the victim and then let's restart the system. 
So once, once we do this, I will go back to our the attacker's machine. You can see it that the zombies they are all dying out. So the sessions are died out. Okay, so I'm going to log in here once more. I'm going to put in my password abc123. So I've logged back in. So I'm going to wait here a minute. It's not going to be up to a minute. We are going to have another session. So let's wait on it. Let's go back and check. We're good. You can see here we have another session. You can see it popping up. So we have persistent, we have session. So we are pretty much have control over the system until we decide not to do anything with the system. So the attacker here. So you can see here. Um, uh, star 2, 2 is alive. So we have another session here, which is 2, which is having the ID of 2. Okay, so you can elevate this context. So we're going to use implant, what we did before. Elevate, bypass, UAC. Um, not com. This is going to be bypass... You can tap through it to complete it. So this is comp default. Okay, so and then hit info. All right, we have zombie is set to one. So let's set the zombie to be two. So here we're going to set zombie two. Hit enter, then hit run. Uh, doing this, we're going to have another session. You can see it here, zombie tree. So if you hit on zombies, okay, it hasn't completed. So we're going to do that again. Zombies. You can see zombie tree. You can see um, the third session here is, is having a star next to it. So it is pretty much in an elevated context. So this is it. This is how you gain access. This is how you maintain persistence in your victim's machine for a long period of time using Coatic.